Hello and welcome once again to Violet's Tale Mountain Blade Warband where it's not looking good for the road dogs, it's looking good for Violet because the road dogs only have 32 towns, castles and villages left before a Violet controls whole Calradia. In the previous two videos uh, Violet took down the whole Rodog army, both on the field and while defending Uxhal against 2000 Rodogs. Also in the previous episode, Lord Gladacus, the most successful marshal of the kingdom, uh, took the Heer down with help from uh, quite many of uh, the kingdom's lords in total 1900 men, even without Violet's army. But uh, in this uh, final war of this Let's Play and the final final stretch of the Let's Play taking down the road dogs, next up is uh, Ruse Castle, where uh, Violet will begin the siege right about now. Um, and then uh, we'll see what uh, what Lord Calaricus will do. While at this level 38, uh, this will probably be the level where she will be when the when the let's play ends. But we'll see. There's uh, well, there is 170,000 experience for the next level. Probably not going to happen. Uh, we'll. Probably break or um, we'll get pretty close to 7,000 killed and wounded, but let's see. But most importantly, we will be sieging the road or castles starting with this. It takes two days for Arty Manor to put that up. boosts with everyone. Nice, two more, two more counts defeated. Yeah, this is uh, this is looking great for us. Okay, well, no, I didn't want to do that. I just want to go. I was still still foggy. Good old British weather continues. Barely see, but I still managed to pull out hit. Blocking, 
there is a ladder there. Only now, now I had the time to look. How is that a miss? Archers join to attack. This, they have still have tons of troops. I am out of arrows. Damnation. Spiked maze. Shield would be nice. Sixteen of them, that's a lot. Oh, they have people there in the tower. Let's go and try to help this sergeant deal with them. Oh, there's tons of them here, isn't there? Thank <laughs> you. 
Ow! Knocked me out. of sharpshooters there. Hmm, it'd be probably wise to just uh, retreat. 41 of us versus 86 of them. understand where if they have 85 left where are they okay everyone on me everyone uh, hold your fire everyone somewhere Shooters. Uh, it's better, better if we just get the uh, heck out from here. They are there in the inner courtyard. Oh wow, almost, almost everyone wounded on the escape. Wow, yeah, that was. Uh, that's how tough it is against these roadhogs. Okay, so there is... Who is standing? Pilot. <laughs> okay. I didn't check how many... How many sharpshooters they had to begin with, but that was a lot. Uh, well, that castle is now easier for uh, easier for the NPCs to take. I did lose shit lot of troops, so I think I will need to go and reinforce myself while being careful. There's 19 standing now. I don't see any bandits, enemy troops, no. Nope. Excellent. Oh, Rolf leveled up, I didn't even notice. I think I had some... Uh, yes, I did. Oh, 
there's a lot of money here. I've sold sold some stuff here apparently. That was a nasty castle that uh, that ruse with the inner courtyard <laughs> full of full of uh, full of remaining uh, crossbowmen there. It's it's not easy easy one to take. It is easier now that uh, they've been defeated, or most of them. But it was kind of very interesting. I uh, I really liked the uh, foggy weather weather there as well. Nice, uh, nice atmosphere. Two more, two more lords defeated from the road dogs. Too many castles I actually haven't liked. There were some some that were annoying to seeds and tough to seeds, but but uh, all of all of them have been really nice.
nice, nice attack on both the ladder and the tower. This guy's hiding well. when it suddenly goes goes this easy. here. Okay, that's good. And I forgot to level up her <laughs> all of even that I noticed it last time. Nice units here. that someone someone will defect before this uh, before this war is over but then so be it if that happens okay let's go take that one lone castle there into our territory and drop the prisoners to Dirim while at it oh another another count escaped oh Largus uh, seeds the Kulmar castle. It is in there. Right on. Well, I guess I could go there. And on the hand. I've been in each and every siege, I think. So maybe maybe it's time to uh, let Galargus deal with it. Maybe it's time for me to finally <laughs> level up Rolf. Agility 18. That calls up for uh, Weapon Master 6. is something that I I hadn't uh, hadn't weakened uh, weakened at 
Oh, and still Clarkus went there. I like that. So yeah, this this castle might be one of the toughest. With uh, 114 Rodok sharpshooters in there and 90 sergeants. This might as, might as well be their last castle as far as the, how tough it is. But, uh, hey, well, since you are here, why don't you come and help me? Say that I'm not gonna follow you instead of following and then uh, not actually joining the battles. Alrighty, what do we have here? It's this kind of this kind of place where we go up the tower. Okay, let's go. And it'll be a yeah. Okay, now I now I see. It'll be difficult for all of us to go there. We are taking a shit ton of damage and we are not doing anything to them. I think this castle might might just be the toughest one out there. There's this single single ladder here. Ah, 
this uh, this is a true true death trap here. Oh, a bit of glitch there. You can see see a bit of them. Castle with 100, 100 sub shooters in it. Holy shit! I can't believe we are doing this good. Missed me. limits how high I can aim I can't can't aim as high so I can't can't shoot straight up I can't shoot that guy from here or here I can't shoot him at all Take a reinforce. Oh, we can't do this in, in one take. No way. Everyone, let's go. Go, 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 go outside. Right here. Oh, Cliff, he's still up. So it's uh, so it's Nichar. Yeah, it's tough to tough to say what is going on up there. It's the ladder? I don't think they will. I can see your ass from there. I can see them up there. 
as well. Can't do much for them. First, first siege and first capture I wasn't in. They they would have taken something like the here and uh, uh, Rakogdir castle before, without me. But uh, I wanted to want to go into the sieges just to see see what all the sieges look like. Haha! <laughs> you are not in your castle, and you're not gonna get there either. We'll finish this one now. there. Not as good with the shield to Viker guard. Come on. I want, I want to host Carl.
we go. room for uh, lots of room for uh, the archers to be in this kind of a final final castle here final uh, tower Recent marketplace.
Marcus didn't siege anything else yet, did he? Oh, what? One lord of the Nords was still in the prison. Yeah, Clarkus took Kulmar Castle, so I uh, guess that makes Braven next. Jeremus is here, old pal. What are you doing, old friend? Captain, it's a fine thing to see an honest face like yours. This world is full of lies. I went home to publish my findings, hired some scribes and made a handful of codices, and waited for the commissions. But it turns out that the universities don't care about real medical knowledge rather than warmed over Galarian. And publishers, let me tell you, you never saw anyone so unscrupulous. They rent the books out chapter to buy chapter to students to copy, but half of them aren't returned, and those that are have pages soaked in wine, and there's no longer a complete copy of my work anywhere. I'll keep trying, but first I need a bit of money in my pocket. Are you looking for a surgeon? Oh, I'm sorry, Jeremus. I'm sorry it didn't go like that. Go as you planned. Uh, but uh, let's let's just uh, let's agree that you can go and uh, go and teach your surgical skills in uh, in the court in the rim. That's that's where you belong. And that that message is because Jeremus left, and then there's he, eventually the companion will return, even that he was annoyed enough to leave. Uh, in this company, I can't can't really take Jeremus. He would be too. Too unhappy. So uh, he can tour towards different towns and teach everyone about about his uh, adventures and uh, all the medical skills he acquired. So no, no worries about money. Oh, 359 troops in Braven. Uh, not as many sharpshooters and sergeants as there were in the, in the castle, but um, there's also veteran sharpshooters here. Yeah, that'll be that'll be tough as well. Bit 
by bit. Oh, they want to take Gulmar Castle back. How about that? How about that? Well, let's go take a look how many... How many of them are there? Medium-sized group, so that's probably one. One army. Yeah, and they will run away when I get here. Bye bye. Oh! Archie Manor. You see that castle up on the hill? Kulmar Castle? Kulmar Castle it's called. I did some work there not long ago. It's not as showy as some of the other castles in this land, but it's the finest stone work you ever saw. Well, tell me more, Artimener. Like most castles that last around here, it's got foundations that got old imperial called Radic. You can't see them anymore with all the rebuilding, but the slabs are the size of a house. They must be in real sorcerers back in those days, because I don't see how they moved those things otherwise. Beautiful location too. Kulmar sits right in front of the pass leading out of Calradia. Which allows the Lord to change a pretty penny in dolls during the three months of the year it's not snowed in. And here's the funny thing when the Rodog lands first repelled against the Swadians, they all said they weren't going to have any noble lord, lords ruling over them. You can guess how long that lasted. One Rodog Hill chief then set himself in Kulmar, calls himself Count, and the good burghers of Yelkala and Veluka have to lick his boots if they want to sell their wine velvet outside Galradia. And if you want to keep the Counts under control, the peasants providing the towns with food rather than selling to the highest bidder, then you need the king too, don't you? The Rodog lands are no different than anyone else, whatever Goff said. They talk about ancient liberties and freedom. Well, that's that's interesting. Um, with that description, you'd almost think that Kulmar Castle was somewhere else, somewhere else than here. Maybe something like on the on the edge edge of the map or something. Well, um, those fellows will now escape to Etrosk Castle. Mm, let's follow them and see. Okay, some of them actually went past it. That's good. Uh, Where's this castle? 112 sharpshooters, 57 sergeants. Oh, it's not gonna be easy for us at the end of, end of this war. But, um... Why don't you troops stay here and... Uh, Reinforce the place a bit, maybe that'll keep the smallest smallest Rodok armies away. And uh, I also think it's time to end end this episode. Which uh, consisted of attempt consisted of attempt on Dilpout Castle and uh, Taking Ruse Castle and uh, Lord Glarkus taking Kulmar Castle. So uh, the campaign is going going well. These uh, remaining remaining places won't be won't be easy to take. That's that's that much is clear. But um, but if if it wasn't 
hard at all. What fun would that be? So, uh, yeah, next time, uh, probably try to try to siege one of these castles here. Uh, if not, uh, if not Etrosk, then maybe Haring Haringoth. I need to check out check out Yalen and Yelkala as well. What do they look like? Braven was well well guarded. Of course, there's always the option to just keep on keep on attacking till bout until fall. But we'll see that and more next time. Take care. Bye bye.